Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada has provided help to those who are most vulnerable for 78 years. Now, in addition to the 35,000 units of affordable housing already established by Catholic Charities all across the country, they say there remains a critical national shortage. 8 News Now reporter Sally Hadamio spoke with them about an initiative that's looking to change things around. Housing is the number one necessity other than food that you really need. We have over 500 chronic homelessness in Southern Nevada. That means people that have been homeless for more than two years. Deacon Thomas Roberts with Catholic Charity says when it comes to the homeless population in Southern Nevada, the numbers are going up. So many of the people that come in with mental health issues also then suffer from addiction issues because they start to use opioids and alcohol as the medication or the band-aid for the mental health, then they develop a second problem. And that's why Catholic Charities USA launched the Healthy Housing Initiative in Las Vegas. Catholic Charities of Southern Nevada will work with the Archdiocese and health care providers. And through this initiative, Catholic Charities hopes to ensure that chronically homeless people have a home. I've gotten over addiction. I've gotten over depression. But, you know, now, you know, I'm trying to get a job to create that sustainability, but then housing is definitely the next step. Mark Tuttle was once living on the streets. He knows how hard it is to get the right help. He hopes this new pilot program will help him. Some of the hurdles I know that I would face, I have an eviction on my record. Um, I haven't been in a place for a while. I won't have had a long, sustainable job. The goals of this five-year plan include reducing homelessness by 20 percent, decreasing hospital readmission rates by 25 percent, and connecting 35 percent of the newly housed with long-term health services. To me, this is very, very much proof that we have to be able to not only build affordable housing, but we have to think about these chronic overlaps with mental health and addictions. Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now. And a final note here, the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development has awarded $14 million to critical support agencies and programs in Nevada, helping individuals and families who are struggling with homelessness.